Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to finally be recording this video for you guys. I had actually asked you guys on my Instagram stories if you guys wanted for me to do some stories showing you guys my pantry and my closet and just updates around the house. Or if you guys wanted a full vlog on it and you guys all said for me to do a vlog. So here I am and my air just turned on. But yes, I'm glad you guys set a vlog. That way I can just go more into detail, edit it for you guys. And then you guys can come back and watch it whenever. Because um, I know some of you guys might miss my Instagram stories. By the way, if you guys want to follow me, let's do makeup. I do post on there literally every single day. I also have this lingering stuffy nose this week. So please bear with me if you hear the snizzles. Not snizzles the sniffles <laughs> throughout this video so my pantry is fully done and organized as well as my closet and i'm excited to show it to you guys i personally love watching these kind of videos just kind of like home updates home decor organizing or anything like that i'd be intrigued i'd be on those videos all the time so i'm glad that you guys wanted to vlog and here we are don't want to blah blah on too much so let's go so before I start showing you guys around, I want to thank Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video which they kind of came at a better time in my life so they make premium bedding as well as mattresses and they customize them to your fits and needs and the best part about it all, they deliver straight to your door with free US shipping. So everybody's different, everybody sleeps different and for that they have created the sleep quiz to match the perfect mattress to you, to your body type and to your sleep preferences. So they have something for everyone and if you sleep with a partner which happens to be me then you guys can take the quiz together and get the perfect mattress for the both of you. So when taking the quiz, it was super simple, basically getting to know how I sleep. So I'm normally a side sleeper and I like for my mattress to be pretty soft. And of course, I also put that I do sleep with a partner. Based on my results, Helix matched me with the Helix Sunset Mattress, which is meant to be soft like a cloud. And I've been sleeping like a baby since. If you're getting a new home or just simply looking for a new mattress, highly recommend Helix Sleep and the convenience of it. So you don't have to go into a store and look around wondering which one is going to fit your sleep preferences. The quiz gets to know you and your sleep preferences to match you to the perfect mattress at the comfort of your home and it delivers straight to your door with free US shipping. Now, if it makes you uncomfortable to buy something you haven't tried, you get a 100 night sleep trial as well as a 10 year guarantee. So that means you can sleep in the mattress for 100 days and if you don't like it, they will pick it right up and give you a full refund. That's how confident they are. I love my Helix and I think you guys will too. So if you are looking for a new bed, you guys can click on the link down below or go to helix.com slash less to makeup for $200 off your new Helix sleep mattress mattress as well as two free pillows on me. Thank you Helix for sponsoring this video and now to show you guys around. So first I'm going to show you guys our pantry and before I do I want to give a huge shout out to El Paso Organizing. Not sponsored whatsoever. I actually found her randomly on Instagram and then I hit her up and she literally low-key <laughs> changed my life. So she actually organized our pantry since we moved in which was the best thing ever. Not only because I'm pregnant and I just didn't have the energy for it uh, but highly recommend. We packed all of our pantry from the old house in boxes and then I just set the boxes here and she's the sweetest ever. She's like you don't have to do absolutely nothing like this is my job I organized so I don't want to take away her credit whatever you guys are about to see is all her mastermind they say it's all her master work um, I kind of just told her kind of like the vibe that I wanted to go for very like wood tones and white tones in there and then she did the rest but anyways follow me in to our pantry so if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that in my old pantry I went ahead and ordered a lot of stuff from Amazon to organize which I mean our old pantry wasn't a disaster either I had it pretty organized but as far as all of those things I actually gave them to my sister none of that was used all of this is brand new stuff that she bought and recommended for me that she just thinks would fit best in the closet and I trusted her fully uh, but yeah you walk in and this is everything that we have and then over here on this side I specifically told her if she could please leave this side of the pantry like this whole walk this whole walk for my cake decorating supplies because in my old pantry Girl, I had a section for it and it was like, oh, when it came time to baking, I was like, I didn't want to bake because I had my supplies and everything all over. So yeah, this is all baking and then from here over here is all kitchen actual pantry stuff. So let me show you guys a close up starting from this side. Okay, so at the top, all of the top racks have these little rotating turntables organizers. But yeah, these two are basically just like some sauces that we have right here. And then this right here is a seasoning rack, which at first we had all the seasonings here in its original packaging. And then she did go ahead and order these organizing little containers. Yeah, clear containers to put all of the seasonings in there. And in the beginning, sorry guys, I'm, I'm so pregnant. I'm like <laughs> catching my breath every minute. I feel like it looks so much cleaner. I really, really like how she did this right here. Honestly, the beer salt is me. <laughs> she left it in the little thing. I love that. And then on this side, we have another three tier rack for anything that is canned foods. And then here we have everything 
cereal. So everything is also labeled um, right here. And here's all of our cereal. These two are empty. We haven't gone grocery shopping, but yeah, this is the cereal section. And the bottom two tiers, if you guys take a look, the bottom two tiers are all these wood baskets, which I feel match perfectly with the house. So yeah, they are also labeled, so I know what they're for. But like I said, starting from this side, oh, we missed the trash can. We have a little trash can in the pantry, which is really, it comes really in handy, okay? I just <laughs> took it out, but you need a trash can in your pantry. But right here we have everything, paper products. So basically anything disposable. More paper products, spoons, forks for when we have visitas and like little get-togethers. And then right here we have some snacks. Below that we have spices. She left me the big containers of spices down here um, for me to just refill up there. And then these two are actually empty. So not every single space on the pantry is taken, which I like. A lot of them are still empty. Um, but I feel like as we start living here, they're gonna start, you know, taking up space and taking up space. So yeah, some of these are empty. And then as we go and as we live in here, I'll kind of like figure out what we'll use them for. So yeah, these last two are empty as you guys see. And then moving back to the top on this side, two more training tables, like I said. And then right below, um, this whole section right here, as well as over here and as well as over here are these containers, which let me show you guys, they're so freaking cool. So look how cool. So you actually pop them open and then it comes with a little scoopy attached at the bottom for you to scoop out the pancake mix, the flour, the rice, whatever it is. And then you just pop it right back on and then you close it and then it seals. <gasps> I thought those were so freaking cool when she was showing them to me. I'm like, oh my God, I love those. Like where, they ha where have they been my whole life? I absolutely love these. Um, to show you guys what these are filled with. Here we have some sugar, some powdered sugar, flour. Again, everything's labeled, some rice, some pastas. And then as far as all of these empty ones, which are quite a few, probably eight of them, they're empty and I was gonna like fill them up with random stuff just for the video so they could like all look full, but I decided not to because again, I feel like within time, I'm gonna need space or containers as we live here and then they're all gonna be full. So I kind of like how our pantry is not super full right now because within time, so I now. So yeah, these are empty for whatever comes in the future. And then below this right here, which was like the sugar and the powder and everything, um, to show you guys what's in these little cans, or not little cans, in these little wooden bins. We have some more snacks. I dedicated this whole one for Pika Pika. You guys know, huge fan of Pika Pika. So literally when people come over, they're always like, do you have Pika Pika? I'm like, yes girl. So now it's in the pantry. And then a couple more snacks. I'm telling you guys, we haven't really gone grocery shopping, so there's not too many fun snacks. Mainly the snacks are for baby G, so there's not too many options. And then over here, excuse me, a little bit more fit ones, a little Alani new moment. And then below this one, some sweets. I've been having a big sweet tooth this pregnancy, so I have some donuts and the little gancitos or whatever. <laughs> some little Reese's right here. And if anything doesn't look extra organized, I promise you guys it's Alex because he'll just throw stuff in here. And I'm like, no, this has to stay organized forever. So that's why that's a little just thrown in there. Uh, but next to that, we have some bread for hot dogs. And then this right here are some waters. So whatever you guys see that does not have a label, it's because we added these after she organized. So we didn't add the label, so we have to come back and add those. So now back to this section. Um, here are some clear bins. So all of this right here, all the way across, all the way up until over there is just clear bins for, again, more food in the pantry. What? I tell you guys the dumbest things. Um, these two are for bread. And then here we have some basically breakfast, some oatmeal, um, the training trays on top, like I told you guys, this is like peanut butter, some protein powder. This one is empty, so it'll get full in the future. More breakfast stuff. Some tostadas, some pastas. She labeled that as meal prep. And then here are some sweet trees. So some cookies, some ice cream cones. And then here are some drink mix. More drink mix. By the way, highly, highly, highly recommend these. If you are hungover, this is the best thing ever. Guys, look how many I bought. Not sponsored, but ya que les tengo aquí. Oh my God, if you guys have not tried this, this is basically 10 times better than Liquid ID. Love, love you Liquid ID, but these are, oh my God. You guys need these. Like they will change your life for a hangover, so I will see you in October? Yeah. <laughs> One of those ones. Uh, but yeah, I have this right here, 
and then more drink mix, some teas, and then right here just some random candy, and then some crackers, which we are out of, but. So I already told you guys I bought all these that are empty. Um, we'll fill up later on. And then these three are dedicated to just chips. I am a huge chip girl. I just like to have a variety of chips, especially if I'm pregnant. Uh, down here we don't have much uh, empty again, more empty space for us to fill up. And then on this side we have some, um, she labeled them ready meals. So my hot noodles, my maruchanes, sopitas, um, some macaroni and cheese. But yeah, basically just like it says, some ready meals. And then this one is a little bit more for my cakes. So I had to take a breathing, <laughs> literally a breathing break. Um, but anyways, down to the last section, which is my favorite and the funnest in the pantry. Um, anything cake decorating, which I'm so excited, guys. This month, um, it's my friend's birthday, and I'm going to be doing her cake. So there will be a cake video coming later on this month, and I'm so excited for it to like just walk in here and actually have things organized and put together. I have a bunch of like candy melts, chocolates. Up here, these are all empty, which again, once I start shopping a little more, especially for cake mist, We'll easily fill those up. And then right below that, we have, again, everything cake. So these are all of my cake boards that I use. More of these chocolate melt molds. This is basically all for chocolate melt uh, molding. And then here are my mini pans. Down here, I have icing tools. So this right here, I'll probably reorganize it in my kitchen. I don't know, I'm still debating. Um, but you basically put everything as far as like for icing and stuff right here. These are all my fondant tools. And then here, a couple more just little random stuff that I have for baking. And then moving up, um, up there, I use those cake dummies a lot when it comes to designing a cake. If I want to know how big I want to make the cake. So we decided to keep those cake dummies up there, which I love. Because I feel like it automatically kind of lets people know um, this is like a cake section. Because you get the fake cakes up there. And then here's... Basically, I'm not going to go too into detail because I feel like when it comes to baking, there's just so many supplies and little tools and things that you keep. But we have a whole bunch of ribbons right here for whenever I need some ribbons. And then here, um, we have a lot of cake toppers. Literally, I just all the random stuff that I buy from cakes that I do that I end up keeping in case I need them in the future. Uh, more fondant, piping gel, and just random stuff right here. And then right here, we have all of my... Ah! cookie cutters, little letter cutters. And then on this one, we have um, anything dowels when stacking my cakes. And then we have my cupcake liners, all of my food coloring, which is so therapeutic, or how do you say it? So pleasing <laughs> to watch all of my food coloring actually organized ah, in a little bit right here. So food coloring, some turntables, and probably my favorite part of the pantry, is all of the sprinkles displayed. I actually did put them all in these little clear bins, which I love because I'm able to see what sprinkles I have, what sprinkles I can use. I love having things displayed to my eye. That way I can like see what I want to grab. And then down here is um, these papers. I have them for whenever I want to wrap one of my cake boards. So basically just all of my rolling mats, rolling pins, cake board covers, and then all of my big cake boards that I have extra. And basically just a whole bunch of cake pans and cake boards. So I was actually telling Crystal, I love how the sprinkles look here, but I think I really want to put them up on the wall. Like have a whole section of the sprinkles hanging on the wall. Uh, I'm still debating that. I feel like once I have like an overwhelming amount of sprinkles and I need more space, then I can move this to the wall. That way I can also use this space for more storage. But as of now, they're staying there. I think they look really cute there. But in the future, I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below that I should move the sprinkles to the walls. And then um, I'm thinking also the food coloring. But Crystal was like, I feel like the food coloring might stain the wall like accidentally. So I don't know. Just a random thought I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, lastly, I also have this ladder right here for stuff that I can't really reach too high. And look how cute. I got it off Amazon. And then this little ladder hanger, I also got it off Amazon. And it's perfect for whenever I want to read something that's too high. Whenever I want to read something that's too high. That way it is easy for me to read. But yeah, I feel like that pretty much covers it all as far as my pantry. And now to show you guys my closet. Okay, so now in my closet. Last time that you guys saw it, which I showed it to you guys on our house tour. Um, it was actually not finished. I had told you guys how I was missing the doors, the glass doors and stuff like that. So I'll show it to you guys now um, really quickly. Kind of like a quick glimpse on what it looks like so as i was saying basically the doors were not here when i showed it to you guys on my house tour there was no doors no glass 
and that was installed and obviously it was really organized and everything. So my closet was also organized by Haley from a Paso Organizing and in my past closet I had all black hangers and for this one we decided to go with all acrylic clear hangers which I love. I feel like it just um, fits the vibe in here. So I'm trying to think how to show you guys. So to give you guys a quick overview, obviously this section right here is closed. And then these are mirrors, which I like because I, I feel like I need, you need a mirror in your closet. Um, and then over here is also for clothes. Obviously here are the shelves for the shoes. And then the island is more storage. If you guys have not noticed yet, I am a huge storage freak. <laughs> like I just love having storage because I hate when things are... I don't know, I hate when things look cluttered up, so I feel like with storage, you can have so much stuff, but it's like put away. So um, in the island, we also have more drawers, which in a minute, I'll show you guys what's in them. And then all of the top shelves are bags, which we will also get into in a second. Um, but to start off showing you guys the clothes and kind of how she put it all together, um, she did color coordinate everything and then also coordinated everything according to what the type of garment it was. So starting with this section, um, I have all of my leggings hanged right here for whenever I'm back at the gym because she woke up back ladies. So basically this is all like gym clothes, leggings as well as gym shorts to work out. And then right next to that I have all of my denim pants. And then moving to the top part, these are all sports bras. Again, for whenever I'm back at the gym, more sports bras and just workout sets. And right next to that, I have some t-shirts because I love to work out with the t-shirts. So hence why it is right next to my sports bras because this is normally what I wear to work out uh, with like little shorts and stuff. And then right here we have just some windbreakers, windbreakers and jackets. So again, coordinated from lightish colors two dark colors and then here are i don't have many of these my three jerseys right here and that is it basically for this section of the closet and then moving on to the section next to it so here are all my little tops whenever i want to be a little showing showing um and i love how it's i've never color coordinated my closets fun fact so that's kind of cool because sometimes i just want like a little black top so i know to go right here so yeah, these are just little sexy tops and then right next to this is all of my flannels or all of my button up shirts or also any long sleeves so basically anything with buttons or long sleeves i will find in this section and i haven't noticed how much black i have under that is more pants so these are just denim shorts some little skirts these are some pants random pants that i have right here dressy pants and then over here are my dressy leggings so all of this is more like latex pants latex leggings and things to actually where to dress up, not really to work out. And then, that's it for this section. And on to this one right here. So here I have all of my... Robes. Robes. I'm like, what do you call this? Um, all of my robes. Tell me why I have two Grinch robes. I've had these for so long and I... Christmas comes around and I don't wear them. And every year I'm like, no, I'm gonna wear them this year. Like, I love you, Grinch. <laughs> and I never wear them, but yeah, I have two of my Grinch robes right here. Some more robes for when I'm out of the shower. And then just like really big coats. And then here um, is just a whole bunch of summery, dressy-ish dresses. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically just some random dresses and also some jumpers. This closet was a little bit of a miscellaneous. Is that that's what you say? Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you know, besides the robes, everything was kind of like where it didn't, where we didn't know where it belonged. It kind of went there. Um, and then now on to the mirror closet. But this is just jackets, hoodies, sweaters. And then right below it, I have like my really thick flannels that again, I'm not going to use right now. So on the other side, you guys saw all my button ups, but that were really like light and dressy. And these are like my really thick ones, more for like the cold weather. Hold on. Anytime there's spray hangers. I take them out. I'll show you right now where I keep my free hangers. And then right next to that, I have all of my dresses. Um, but yeah, I have all of my little black ones right here, some colored ones, this really dressy one. I haven't worn this one. I don't even know why I bought it. Look how pretty it is. But yeah, this dress right here. Um, and then just more stuff. A lot of this stuff I actually bought from Cancun and didn't end up wearing. But yeah, we have lots of dresses. And then right over on this section. So this part right here doesn't have a door. Um, I think it's actually on its way, but I'm gonna leave this section for new clothes or just clothes that I kind of have to like post for the month and kind of stay organized. So this is gonna be like my random for the month 
place and it's also where I put my leftover hangers. So whenever I get something out from the shelves or whatever and I have leftover hangers, I put them right here. That way when it's laundry time, I know all of my uh, hangers are up here. So for my drawers, on the top one, she went ahead and organized my glasses with these little, they're like little clear stands right here, which it was so cute. It's like a little stadium. And then right below this, I have my pajamas and she even added like the little labels right here. So cute. Shorts, pajamas, pajamas, and pajamas. Then right below this one are, are all of my sweatpants. And then right below this, I forgot what's in here. Oh yeah, swimsuits. So my bathing suits are here, which fun fact, literally <laughs> none fit my boobs right now, but uh, whenever my boobs decide to decrease, I'm just kidding, but that is where I have all of my bathing suits. Um, and then before I show you guys the drawers on the island, just quickly on my shoes and heels. So at first, we're gonna be waiting to mix the shoes with bags. So we're gonna do one shelf bags, one shoe, one bag, one shoe. But I like how we kept all the shoes just here. I feel like it just looks nicer to the eye. Um, but yeah, up here, the top two shelves are heels and then the rest are sneakers. And then at the bottom, like anything boots, goes at the bottom. And I just realized she actually added this right here. It's a little, the, the pool. yeah, the pool noodles. That way the boot can stay standing up and it just makes it look so much neater and organized. So yeah, at the bottom, we have all of the botas. And then at the very top, those three shelves are completely empty still. So I don't know if I'll ever fill them all up with shoes or I don't know what I can put up there. Cause even if I put shoes up there, I'm like, how am I gonna? climb all the way there to grab them? I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out, but... And then on this little um, thinner section right here, more heels. And then I absolutely love this, a little um, sandal hack. So this is actually meant for clutch bags, but she used it for sandals, and I'm like, that's so woke because it does not take up as much space, but I still have them like on display for me to like grab sandals if I need some. So these are sandals, some more sandals again on this little clutch display thing. And then below that is just kind of like my lounge sandals. So, or what do you call these? Slippers. Yeah, slippers or slides. Or slides, there we go. <laughs> my comfortable slides, the Lexan ones, if you have them. If you know, you know, these are like the most comfortable ever. And yeah, some more comfy ones right here. And then, like I said, the boots at the bottom. So that's pretty much it as far as the sneaker section. Now, before I show you guys the backs up there, um, let me quickly show you guys what's in the drawers of the island. So at the very top, I have this right here, which are, these are little, everything here, by the way, is from Laura's Boutique. Um, these little booty shorts, these little booty shorts, and all of these also from Laura's Boutique that I wear under my dresses. That way I don't have like a little booty slip or nothing. And then these right here, guys, I literally just stocked up on <laughs> So many pairs of these. If you're pregnant, or even if you're not pregnant, especially now in the summer, if you're looking for the best biker shorts, you need these right here. I'll leave the name on the screen. But yeah, I bought a lot of these because this is, I live in this when I'm pregnant. Like I remember with baby G, like if you ever saw me, I was wearing these shorts. So yeah, I have them stocked here because I wear that like a lot, a lot. And then for my second drawer is where I keep my undies and my socks. So I actually got these off Amazon myself. And then below this, I have um, a couple of bras and a couple of sports bras. And then at the very bottom, I'm like, what do I even have here? I forgot, but yeah, I, I kept some of my fajas here. Um, so this one's also pretty empty. And then on the other side of the island, uh, this side is pretty boring, so. But at the top, it's basically a lot of random stuff, guys. Random. This one, too random. I'm not even gonna <laughs> open that one. In here, I was putting stuff that either didn't fit or I'm gonna like give away and stuff. So it, that drawer is like my giveaway drawer. So I just put clothes there that eventually I give away. And then on this drawer, I have more shoes, more comfortable shoes. I'm not too sure why she put these here and not up there, but I don't mind them here. Um, so I'll keep them here unless I need the storage or the space. Then I'll probably move those to the shoe shelf, but for now they can stay here. And then here she put some house shoes. So my Crocs and just some more comfy slippers. And, and on this side, I got this ladder right here with a little um, ladder hanger. So whenever I need to grab a bag, it's actually super, super simple. I just grab my ladder and then I open it up and then I can just grab whatever bag I want. And she did also color coordinate the bags, which is perfect because I don't have to be like looking for a bag. Okay, hold up. Let me bring you guys up there to show you guys the bags and then we'll start on this side and then I'll show you guys through that side. Okay guys, I climbed up here, but um, right here for the bags are, I guess like the black gray ones. So we have this section right here. Ah, so 
sorry if it's wobbling. I'm like three feet or like six feet up in the air right now. <laughs> okay, I got a better <laughs> angle for these. Um, but here are more of the browns and then a couple more of the blacks went up there. That's what I tried to show you guys right now, but <laughs> it was a bad angle. Um, but we have this section and then right next to this one, we have more browns on this bottom. Browns and then it turns into a little bit of pop of color up here. And then next to the browns is a pop of more pop of pink over here. My favorite section, pinks, yay! And then another pink one up there. These are two um, trophies, my little logo. And then this one that's actually, uh, I like to use it as a diaper bag, but we have that one right there. Okay, and then next to the pinks are the whites. Whites, nudish, neutralish, and then up here, some more nudes. And yeah, that's pretty much it as far as my bags. So this section right here now that I'm up here is basically what I just showed you guys. And then up here, these shelves are all empty as well as on that side, which I don't know what I can put up there. But like I said, within time, I feel like they'll end up getting pretty filled up. Okay, so that was it as far as the pantry and my closet tour update and just showing you guys um, what it looks like now that everything is finished. And I also told you guys that I want to give you guys like a house update because a couple of you guys were asking me um, when I would do a fully furnished house tour. I just feel like that was going to take a while because things are just so delayed right now. For example, our couches, we ordered them probably two months ago now. They're still in the works and it's just more space here, which I feel like it's just taking us, it's going to take us way longer to like fully finish furnishing the whole entire house to show you guys. But I did want to give you guys an update on so far what we have. Um, I show you guys a lot on my stories once again, but so first is our dining table. So I love this dining table i feel like it took us a while i feel like it's really echoey echoey in here but um the table was like a thing that i really really wanted to find like the perfect one because i feel like it's like a dining table like one of the first things you see when you walk in and we actually went to arizona for a weekend if you guys remember to look at tables and we found this one so this one is actually from rh and i feel like it fits perfect with the house perfect size and everything um so yeah black table with the white chairs from rh and then my sweater actually put this together. Fun little fact, we saw something identical to this out there in, I don't know what store it was, but guys, it was so expensive and it was so heavy. And then we went to at home here and they had this and I thought it was gonna be super heavy, but it's actually very light. And it was literally like 20 times more affordable. This was only like $30 and when we saw it out there, it was like 2500 I guess because it was like real ceramic or something but it literally looks identical I love just the simplicity of it like just a simple centerpiece so for now I love this we're gonna um, keep this as a centerpiece I'm also debating if to put a rug under the table or not let me know down below what you guys think me and my sweater are like between it I kind of want to but then I kind of like how it looks clean like this so this is probably the only part of the house that is fully finished um, our dining table Okay, so I was gonna show you guys a little bit more around like my office, baby G's room, Alex's office, and our bedroom and stuff, but I feel like a lot of the things are literally on the way, um, so whatever's in the rooms right now, it's not gonna stay, so I feel like it's gonna be confusing and kind of pointless for me to show you guys the rooms and then be like, this is not staying, <laughs> that's not staying. So I'm just gonna wait until the things get here, set it up, and then show you guys. However, I do keep up with you guys a lot on far as like what we get new for the house and um, just house decor stuff on my Instagram story so if you guys want to go follow me there that's kind of where I show you guys more on a day-to-day -day, um, things that I order and things that I'm setting up to try and get our house to be fully furnished one day very soon so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed watching let me know if you guys like these kind of like house update uh, home decor videos I personally enjoy them so much but again thank you for watching I love you guys and I'll see you on my next one bye